When it comes to gold backs, there definitely seems to be two sides when it comes to approving or disapproving of them. One side absolutely believes in their usefulness, while the other side, well, they see them just as an overpriced gimmick that might or might not truly take off. So I decided to see if my LCS would take gold backs in exchange for some silver. Well, let's see how that went. <laughs> Stay tuned. YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. Uh, I hope you guys all had a fantastic Christmas holiday and you were able to spend some time with family. But I also can't thank you enough for taking some time out of your day today to check out the new video. And of course, for all that amazing support you've given the channel. Now, in my eyes, that makes you guys part of the best damn community here on YouTube, without a doubt. You've all helped this little channel grow and it means more than you know. So today, I'm going to talk about the feasibility of gold backs and actually... Uh, test out my local coin shop to see if he'll take them in. Now, he doesn't carry these at all, as far as I know, so I had no idea how this would go. Uh, the video you're about to see is exactly how it played out live. All that being said, you know it. Let's roll it. Well, we're waiting. All right, so a quick rundown before we take a ride over the coin shop. I am not going to go into great detail on goldbacks because, let's face it, there are a ton of videos on YouTube already that cover them in depth. But for those of you who are familiar with my channel, you know I don't stack these. But I definitely do buy the ones I like. Now, regardless of my feelings on them, I can definitely appreciate the artwork and the meaning uh, that goes behind them. And they're beautiful, somewhat collectible in my eyes. And who knows, uh, if more states come on board, maybe these things will gain some true traction. Uh, they are beautiful. Uh, right now, there's just a handful of retailers in the United States who will take these in exchange for goods and services. But we're going to go over the pros and cons of goldbacks really quickly then we're going to drive on over to the coin shop. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, start with the pros of goldbacks. And they are, number one, they have serious potential to be useful as they stand. I mean, let's face it, guys. We're in a mucked up economy. The dollar's growing weaker by the year. And who knows where the future of finance lies. Uh, if times get tough, these could actually prove to be more useful than the dollar at some point. Uh, they have actual intrinsic value with their gold content, unlike the dollar, which is backed by nothing but the air you're breathing right now. Number two, they have amazing designs and security. Now, whether or not you're on board with these things, even the grinchiest naysayer uh, has to admit they're absolutely beautiful, and that can add to their collectability factor. Also, the details are carefully tailored with relevance uh, to the state that they represent. Seriously, each one of these is telling a story. And another added benefit, the intricate designs make them almost impossible to counterfeit. Number three, they're anonymous. There's no record of who you are when you spend them, and that won't change. Uh, unless stores start asking for IDs when you use them. Uh, with the threat of CBDCs or digital dollars on the horizon, uh, these could be under the radar even more than cryptocurrencies. And number four, divisibility. Uh, as you can already tell by the one one-thousandth of an ounce, <laughs> uh, one gold back, these can break down really nicely. You can't break up your gold bullion coins now, can you? And just like with everything else in life, there are some cons for gold backs. Uh, some of the disadvantages include, number one, first and foremost, premiums. They're huge. Uh, gold backs are expensive to manufacture, and that cost is being passed on to you in at least two ways. Now, first, you're paying for the cost of design and manufacture. Uh, second, you're paying a markup on them because goldback.com doesn't offer their own freaking product on their own freaking website. Which means they're strictly being sold to authorized dealers and distributors and of course they're adding their markup now both of those factors for me tend to push gold backs beyond a reasonable range of practical use i'm getting ready to show you a chart in just a minute that pretty much uh explains my stance number two price volatility now we just talked about gold backs already being somewhat expensive for what they are but another factor to consider is the price of gold fluctuating now you all know that gold back value is in direct correlation with the fluctuating dollar price of gold right it's simple now, granted, this could actually work for or against you, depending on your dollar cost average on your gold backs. But if gold goes down by a lot, then there's a chance you could lose money. Number three, uncertain long-term viability. Now, granted, uh, gold backs have been gaining a nominal amount of steam out there. But right now, they're only representing five states at the moment, and there's no guarantee that other states will ever be on board. Now, I do personally think more states are going to get into these gold backs and issue them, but... Uh, if the majority of the states blow them off, then there's a chance they could just fall into a very niche status, which a lot of people would say they're already there, and they could simply fade from the limelight. And number four, 
These are terrible for stacking. Uh, they may be an affordable way to add gold to your stack, but there's a price to pay on the back end of doing it that way after you pay those premiums. Now, for example, let's say you want to stack the affordable one gold back. Uh, the cheapest I found them at is $4.08 at Hero Bullion. Uh, now, you already know that the one gold back contains one one thousandth of a troy ounce of gold. So if we do the math, real easy, a thousand of those would cost you 4080 bucks for an ounce of gold. And that's for the cheapest one gold back I could find. Uh, you could just about buy two ounces of gold coin for that price. So you're literally paying double when you buy these. Now, to make matters worse, the most expensive one gold back out there is by far, wait for it, SD Bullion. I know, shocker. Uh, they're at a whopping six dollars and 58 cents for one gold back i can't even believe some channels actually push this place I, I don't get it well i do get it i know why they do it but it's still insanity anyway multiply that times a thousand gold backs and you come up with an insane total of six thousand five hundred eighty eighty dollars for an ounce of gold 65.80 for an ounce of gold crazy uh you're easily looking at just about three ounces of gold versus one ounce of gold backs when it comes to that. Uh, bullion versus gold backs, no comparison. Uh, especially if you buy from SD Bullion. <laughs> I mean, damn. Uh, anyway, it's time to take a drive over to the LCS and let's see how my coin dealer actually uh, looks at these and after I try to pay for something in gold backs. Throw me a freaking bone here. I'm the boss, need the info. All right, so we're here at the coin shop and I've got the equivalent of 28, 28 gold backs. I just grabbed a few off the top of the stack. So we got 28 gold backs and uh, we're gonna go in and we're gonna see if Lou will take these in exchange for something else. Stand by. All right, so we've got what, five at max bars and what was our total? Yeah, one ounce silver bars, 135. 135, all right. What the? <laughs> What is this? Gold backs. I'm, where am I going to spend them? <laughs> they have they have intrinsic value, don't you know? So let's do the math. Is this just... gold foil? No, it's uh, injected molded gold into the uh, plastic. So in theory, you could melt that, and you could get little slivers of gold. I ain't got the time That's for what... all that. <laughs> It's one one thousandth of an ounce of gold on the one one gold backs. One one thousandth. One, I got one a lot thousand. more gold than that. I don't, I don't need these. <laughs> one one thousandth. And if we go to our handy dandy gold back calculator, these things are all stuck together. They keep coming out. There's more of them yeah, here. Oh yeah, there's work. There's one hundred thirty five of them. Nah, there's only twenty eight <laughs> gold backs total. <laughs> all right, what do I owe you? One thirty five. One thirty five. So one thirty five. Let me have to type this in here. And the exchange rate, believe it or not, is four dollars and forty cents on one gold back. That's what they're going for right now. So I would owe you thirty-one gold backs according to the calculator. We type in how many I'm putting in. Let's say twenty-eight. All right. If I have twenty-eight gold backs, I would still owe you an additional eleven dollars and eighty cents, or another two gold backs. verifying his three <laughs> one one thousandth of a troy ounce of gold so if i had a thousand of these i could finally get to my one ounce coin yep well i, I think you'd have to stack a whole real. heap of them to get to an ounce of gold yeah they're gonna take up a lot of space nah then his dollar bills well they look nice oh yeah they got nice they're beautiful. designs they're beautiful so here's the calculator. Right, yeah. A that gold back you, yep, calculator. That, that, if I paid in gold backs, that's what I would owe you. Yeah, it breaks it all down. Breaks it all down. So there's value in these uh, by the, the by the uh, value that's set per day. It's adjusted by the day. <laughs> so Lou doesn't seem to be a fan of the gold backs. Uh, he doesn't sell them. Apparently he doesn't take them either. No, I think I think the problem I would have is that later I need money. Mm -hmm. I can't take you this to the bank and get money. If the next customer come in wants to sell me five ounces or old ninety percent coins or five, mm -hmm. they won't take them. 
So I, I don't have that as a, it's not a good means of exchange. You're right. Now, what if North Carolina got its own set of gold backs, which is hypothetically, let's say what happens. And it was backed by the state it's somehow? Back they, well, they're backed by goldback.com. So, but a, a lot gold. of vendors will take them, a lot of them won't. Yeah, that, I think it's the same thing, though. If my customer coming in the door wants to sell me some old 90% coins that mm -hmm. they inherited and they need money and I give them this, <laughs> they may not do them then they're in trouble. They can't go to Walmart and trade those in. Nope. So they'd rather have a check or cash. Yep. I don't, I don't think anybody's going to take these. I don't think I don't think they're. All right. So you heard it there, folks. Uh, one coin shop is saying, what in the hell are these? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's about what I want the are these yeah there's a blank space there but <laughs> all right so we got our answer at least one coin shop we'll be back all right all right there you have it guys <laughs> so Lou was a little bit less than enthusiastic about trading his uh his silver for my gold backs uh mostly because he's not familiar with them I would assume uh and even if I even if he knew about these things if he was totally familiar with them I'm still not convinced that he would have taken them anyway so I uh, just want to thank Lou real quick for uh, being a part of the video today and uh, for being so damn entertaining. <laughs> uh, so anyway, with regret, I cannot treat goldbacks uh, as anything more than a collectible to me, me personally. I do believe in their functionality, but I'm not sold on the premiums or the long-term viability. Uh, of course, everyone has opinions on these things, and I welcome yours. What do you guys think about these goldbacks? Are you for or against them? Or you just like me and you, you buy a few here and there because of the artwork. Now be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you think. I love going through them, so make sure you sound off. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. And if you made it this far, huh, who knows to you. I'll definitely catch up with you in the next episode. But in the meantime, you know what's up. Stack. Stay safe and be well, everyone. Have a fantastic new year. I am out of here. Peace, folks. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go, no, 